You're listening to the Voice of Your Brand podcast. In today's episode, get ready to master the art of the podcast interview. That's coming up next. Ready to go behind the scenes and learn what it really takes to stand out as the voice of your brand? I'm Katherine Beck, voice actor and voice coach. And after 20 years of being the voice of other brands, I'm here to show you how your voice is your most powerful tool to creating the impact, influence, and income you desire. The world is your global stage. So get ready to up-level your voice and your personal brand. This is the Voice of Your Brand podcast. Thanks so much for joining me here on the Voice of Your Brand podcast. And you may have noticed that I've been doing a lot of interviews lately on the podcast. So I thought it was time to do a solo episode. And the reason why I haven't been doing solo episodes lately is because I was taking a step back to think about the direction of the podcast, what I enjoy about it, what you like to hear on the podcast. And one of the things I hear a lot from people, both those that listen to the podcast and those that I interview, is that they like my interview style. And I got to admit, I love doing interviews. So I have been debating on whether or not this will become a weekly interview-based podcast or if I will continue to do some solo episodes. So I would love to hear from you. Send me a DM over on Instagram at Catherine underscore Beck underscore and let me know whether you like the interview-only style podcast or you'd like to hear some more solo episodes. Either way, I would love to hear from you. So let me know. All right, so interviews, that sparked today's episode because I thought it would be really great to share some tips and tricks on how to give great interviews and how to be a great interview guest on a podcast. So first, let's talk about giving the interview. The biggest mistake I see so many podcasters making is that they are so focused on following a structure like their notes or the questions that they've prepared that they lose sight of creating an authentic connection with the person they are interviewing. And I have experienced it so many times when I've been asked to be on a podcast. I can sense the host's nerves. I can sense their need to follow a plan. I can sense their inability to speak off the cuff or improvise or bounce off of what I'm giving them. And for those that I invite onto my podcast and interview, well, many times when I am interviewing people, they are unsure or not relaxed when they show up. You can sense their nerves. So here's what I like to do before the start of a podcast interview. And so take notes if you are someone who is a host, because I cannot tell you how many times I have been on someone's podcast and they just don't know how to start the before you start the podcast conversation. So very important. One of the best things you can do is start with a little bit of chit chat. Get to know the person. This is called rapport. You want to establish rapport with the other person that eases their mind. And it tells them that everything's going to be okay. It's going to be light, easy breezy. We're just going to have a conversation. So the second I press record, this is the fun part, because the second I press record, things shift. You can always sense that somebody's like, okay, now it's time to get professional. This is my professional mode. I've got to put on my professional voice. And they start thinking about what they're going to say, how they're going to say it. And it's boring. It's just, it's unnatural. And we can sense that. I can sense it. And the listeners can sense that. And so I think for both the interviewer and the interviewee, it needs to come from a place of, you know, serving the audience and really being present and truthful so that we can serve the audience wants and needs. So what does your audience want? What do they need? What do they want to hear from you? I always think of my intentions. My intentions when I create a podcast are to entertain, to inspire, and to educate. So I'm always looking to utilize those intentions when I create a podcast, whether it's solo or interview. So a lot of people, when they put on this professional mode, this professional voice and manner, it often comes from 
wanting to be seen and heard in a certain way, maybe professional, maybe that's their perception of what professional is and sounds like, but you can't connect to that because it's not truthful. It's not authentic. And we can hear that. We can literally hear there's like this invisible barrier that you've put up. And we can hear the need to try so hard to sound a certain way. And it is just not appealing. And so when you do this, it turns off the listener on a subconscious level. They don't believe you. They can sense that something is off, which means that interview is not creating the impact you had hoped for. So what's the point? So here's my tips to interview like Oprah. Be the star of your podcast show and or the podcast you get asked to be interviewed on. Okay, so tip number one is to listen to the other person. Have you ever heard of active listening? You want to active listen, people. Feed off of what the other person gives you. This creates a genuine conversation back and forth. And as listeners, that is highly appealing. And it also creates a great momentum for the conversation. Tip number two, mirror off the other person. Mirror off what they give you. Match their intensity. This balances the conversation and is way more enjoyable for the listener as well. Tip number three, be ready and willing to pivot. You can have a list of questions, but be ready for the conversation to go another way. You gotta ride that podcast wave because when we conversate in real life, we don't know how the conversation is gonna go. We just let it flow. So let yourself pivot. And tip number four, let your guard down. Be open to let us get to know you. People connect with people, not prepared questions and answers. That's boring. So allow yourself to be open so that people can get to know, like, and trust you. There's over 3 million podcasts in the world. So why is someone going to take the time to listen to this particular interview? Give a good interview. Treat it like a TED Talk. Because every opportunity to share your message and your mission is an opportunity to impact someone's life with your powerful words and your powerful voice. That is what I teach my students inside of Launch Your Voice, and it is incredible to see how quickly those shifts happen. All right, so those are my top tips, my hot tips on how to interview and be your inner Oprah, the art of interview mastery for a podcast. Thank you so much for joining me today on the podcast. And hey, if you are ready to unlock the power in your voice, be heard and be seen and become known as the authority in what you do, then head over to katherinebeck.com forward slash amplify and we can get started. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you back here next time on the Voice of Your Brand podcast.